Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do an updated video of how to make silhouette crayon art. I don't know what it's actually called, but you're going to start by wanting to open Word doc, which I'm doing now, and I'll show you when we get there. So while Word is opening, you're going to want to find a silhouette. You can do this by searching basically anything and then tacking on silhouette. I like to use Pinterest just because it's a little bit more reliable than just Google. I've actually made a silhouette art board for this next project because I was having trouble deciding what I wanted it to be so I just put all my ideas on one Pinterest board and I'm going to show you which one I picked. Alright, so here are the ones I was thinking of doing. We've decided on this one though. So I'm going to open it. Also, this is my Pinterest if anybody wants to follow me. <laughs> I'm going to copy image. And then we're going to open up that handy dandy Word doc that we had. And paste it in here. Got your image in your Word doc. You're going to want to make it as big as you're going to want it for your project. So I'm going to make it so that it fills up most of the page. Then I'm going to go to print it. And for printer's sake, I'm going to do it in black and white just because it's got all this background that I don't really want to worry about printing it because that's going to make it very wet. But I'm going to press print and it's going to print. Once you have your picture printed out, you are ready for your canvas. I'm doing mine on an 11 by 14, but it really does not matter what size you do it. You're going to need your crayons. I decided to do green since she is Anna of Green Gables. And you're also going to need some Elmer's school glue. This works better than hot glue to glue the crayons onto the canvas, just in case you're wondering. Hobby Lobby is the cheapest place to buy canvases, or Dollar Tree, but I suggest Hobby Lobby because Dollar Trees are like really cheap. So I'm just going to print, um, cut this out so that I have a little bit more idea of where it's going to be on the canvas. It out very well. Just enough to know where you're going to want it on your canvas. She's looking very small, but that's going to give a lot of space to drip. Now we're going to need a pencil. With a pencil, we're just going to trace this image very well. And the reason that it's so important that you trace it very well is that you're going to do this again without being able to see the actual picture. So let me show you. <laughs> thoroughly traced, you are going to flip her over wherever you want her on your canvas. This is where you need to decide where you want her on your canvas. And then you're going to trace it again on the side so that all the uh, stuff that pencils are made out of um, transfers onto your canvas. So let's, let's do that.
is what the finished product looks like. Um, it turned out interesting. We, you never really know how they're going to turn out, but we're pretty happy with this one. We decided to mix in the yellows with the greens because I didn't have quite enough greens. And it really gives it a nice, very springy and March feel. So yeah, here are all three of my crayon arts that will be hanging in my dorm. We have Girl of the Tardis, which we tried to do some more with today, and it kind of messed up. But it actually looks pretty neat. Um, Anne, and then me as a dancer. So, yep. And then we have these posters down here, which will also hang in my dorm. So things are getting crazy. Alright, I hope this video is helpful. If you decide to make a career on art, I would love for you to send me a picture. You can find me on Instagram. The link to that is down below. Just send me a direct message and yeah, that'd be fun. I hope you all have a great day and I will see you tomorrow for the next Vita. Toodles!